Hey, this is Deb from As Web Tutoring. In this video, I'll show you what are the things you have to study in your shift exam for mechanical comprehension. I'm not gonna go over all the details, but kind of give you an idea what you could study. So hopefully uh, it will be very helpful for you. So that's us the video. Um, the first thing you have to learn the displacement. So, you know, the displacement is the difference between um, final point to starting point. So you could see here the end point here, the starting point here. Um, so the displacement is the, um, the difference, right? So you also, uh, also need to uh, learn that uh, the unit. So, you know, the unit of distance is, is a meter, feet, mile, um, whatever you say, okay? The next thing you need to learn, uh, velocity. You know, the velocity is the um, the ratio of distance over time. So distance per unit time is velocity. So you have to learn that too. You have to learn the um, unit too. The next thing you need to learn is the acceleration. So, you know, the acceleration is actually um, the um, velocity over time, right? The change the velocity over time is displacement so you have to learn that too um next thing you need to learn is force so you know the force equal to mass time acceleration so you need to learn mass acceleration force okay and the most important thing the newton's second law f equal to ma okay so you have to study those things okay why well, i don't have that many problem in here but we we have it in our website and also our application i'll show you at the end uh, the next thing you need to learn the type of forces, weight, friction force, air resistance, tension, and normal forces. Okay, so I have some ex examples in here, and let's see. So um, you can see here um, in this in this figure, um, the different forces is acting in different directions. Okay, so make sure that you understand that. Um, the next thing is uh, a normal force. As I say, I have some examples. So this is one of the examples. So what direction normal force and what direction gravity force works, okay? Um, the next thing is a friction force. So you could see this diagram. The friction force is always um, act opposite direction of the motion. The next thing um, you need to learn um, Hooke's law, that is F equal to Kx, which is also the springs um, rule in the springs law. So in this type of problem, you definitely see in the actual test, okay? Uh, you have to find either um, the amount of force you applied to um, extend a, a spring, or um, you have to find the spring constant, or you have to find the, um, the displacement after you acting a certain amount of force on a spring, okay? So make sure that you study this. Next thing, uh, torque. So you know the torque equal to force time distance. So learn about torque and learn um, different types of problems. So you definitely see a few problem on that. The next thing is work. So make sure that you learn what is work in science, not work in um, general that you go to work. This is different. So you know there are two types of work: one dimensional work and two dimensional work. One dimensional work, there is no angle involved. But for the two-dimensional work, um, there is an angle between um, um, between the, the direction of force and also with the horizontal. Um, so you need to learn the positive and negative work too, right? So make sure that you learn. The next thing is a simple machine. Simple machine is a big part in, in a mechanical comprehension for all um, different tests for Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine. Um, so everybody have to learn the simple machines, right? So in the simple machines, you basically have to learn um, how to find the mechanical advantage of diff different simple machines. But before you find the um, mechanical advantage, so you need to know what are those simple machines and uh, how it look like, right? So let's see. The first thing, um, you need to find the mechanical advantage. Um, you know, the mechanical advantage is basically output force over input force or 
um, input distance over output distance. We have a couple of problem um, examples that give you a clarification, but make sure that you study those section. Um, the first thing we have here of the mechanical advantage is labor, right? So um, you need to know the different components of labor. So fulcrum, effort, resistance. So make sure that you know all of those, okay? So you can see here, here is an example of a mechanical advantage of um, a lever, uh, length of arm over length of the load or resisting arm, right? So you could see here um, the examples and uh, the answer, okay? So make sure that you study those. The next thing is a class of levers. So make sure that you have a good idea about the different types of lever, first class lever, second class lever, or a third class lever. So we have some example in the next slide. So you see here, these are this, all these examples for a first class lever, second class lever, and third, third class lever. So make sure that you have a clear idea on that. You need that. The next thing is pulley. The mechanical advantage of pulley is a number of rope supporting weight, right? So you need to find uh, the mechanical advantage of a pulley. It could be Mechanical advantage one, two, or three, or four, whatever. Okay, so you can see in this in this uh, slide uh, the mechanical advantage of one, mechanical advantage of two, three, and four. So you have to learn those. So the next thing is uh, mechanical advantage of a inclined plane. So as I said, mechanical advantage is either um, output force over input force or length of the ramp over height of the ramp. So you definitely see that type of problem in the actual test. So make sure that you have a clear understanding on that. Um, the next section is um, mechanical advantage of wedge. So the mechanical advantage wedge equal to length over width. Okay, length of the wedge over uh, the width. So make sure that you, you, you have uh, understanding on that too. The next thing is screw, the mechanical advantage of screw. Um, the mechanical advantage of a screw is equal to 2 pi r times length between crest. So you could see here the, in the arrow. So what do we mean by crest? Okay. So the next thing is also important section and the gears. So um, let me write that down. The gear. Um, let me see my draw. So I normally try to do like this way. So N1 R1 equal to N2 R2. So N1 is the number of teeth of a gear and R1 is the revolution. Okay, what is the revolution? So uh, say like this, this, in this example, there are two gears uh, connected each other. Um, one of has 15 teeth, another is 10 teeth. So if you use this formula and solve, so you could find the, um, the, um, the rotation of second gear so if you put rotation r equal to i mean r uh, one equal to like 300 so you could using that formula you could find the rotation of the smallest um, gear so you have to learn that this is a very important one the next thing learn about cams so what is cam what are the components of cam and what is the purpose of using the cam so make sure that you have an idea The next thing is the pressure, learn about pressure, right? Pressure is very important part because if you want to fly, you have to learn about this pressure. So next thing is uh, the thermodynamics, heat conduction. So you have an idea about what is called conduction, convection and radiation heat transfer. So make sure that you study those. And here are some examples. Next thing is the density. So learn the um, definition. Sometimes they ask the question related to that. The next thing is the buoyance force. So also make sure that you learn what is called buoyance force and um, how does it affect um, a buoyance force when you are in the swimming pool or you are in the in the ocean or water. Okay, so learn that too. So the next thing is. Um, let me go next one. So learn about current. So this is another um, important part is the circuit and current. Okay, so um, make sure that you learn circuit, 
make sure that you learn about um, voltage uh, resistance and voltage resistance and current so also learn uh, the ohms law b equal to ir so you have you might have some uh, small problem you need to solve um, so the next thing is you need to definitely need to learn about uh, series and parallel circuits okay so what is called series circuit what is called parallel circuit make sure that you study those sections okay um, so let me just go back here so this is series circuit in a line and then parallel circuit is like a rail line right um, you could see it like two um, side by side right so this is six and two the side by side that is a parallel circuit so make sure that you um, learn what is parallel circuit and you also need to find the total resistance in a series circuit and also a parallel circuit um, the next thing is magnetism let's learn about a little bit magnetism sometimes they ask question on that too so that is very much everything you need to learn for the mechanical comprehension um, if you need to learn more about the examples download ship tutoring application is a very good app it has all the examples that you need and it has also prediction test that will help you um, to um, to determine your skills level before you go to your recruiter's office. And thank you for asking.